Hey everyone, I wanted to give you a quick update uh, on a game that we've been creating for the last few years called Cellulose. Now Cellulose is a plant cell biology game and it's a companion game to Cytosis. Uh, Cytosis is one of our best-selling games at this point and it's a game that takes place inside of an animal cell. Well, Cellulose takes place inside of a plant cell. Now it's gonna play kind of similar in that it's a worker placement game but there's a whole lot of other things going on that you are not gonna see in uh, cytosis. So let me give you a quick rundown um, of how the game plays. You're gonna have flasks, so if I was a blue player, I'd have these flasks. Now this is similar to cytosis. And when you place them in any of the given areas, uh, you'll notice the little rectangular pieces um, or shapes here. You can place one flask in there. And these larger shapes, which are these um, like squished octagons, um, you can have multiple flasks in there. So another player could have um, also placed in there. And those, those represent all of the worker placement spots. When you go to that spot um, anywhere on the board, you will take an action or do some kind of conversion of resources or something like that immediately. So as an example, over here in the um, xylem, if I was to place there, I am going to move this thing down and take uh, water equal to um, where it's at. So if it was here, I would take five water, take these over here, these represent the water, put them in my supply, the global water supply then moves down um, and the next player takes their turn. Uh, now, with some of that water over here, I could have put some into the central vacuole. And here I am fighting for area majority. The player with the most water at the end of the round is gonna move their marker here up and score an increasing amount of points. They're also going to get the gray flask for the next turn, which is gonna allow them to take an additional action that turn. So this is a really fun uh, little mechanism over here in the central vacuole. Now some of these other spots, uh, like the stoma here, if you were to place in the uh, rectangle spot, which is um, only for one player, you'd get six uh, car uh, carbon dioxide. You'd also move the global water supply down. And that's because um, in, in the stomata, as they open up in the leaves, uh, they are releasing some water out. So the water supply actually um, um, diminishes when you take CO2. You could go here again and take more, but you only get four the second time around and multiple players can, can place in there. Uh, a couple of the other spots that are pretty easy to explain here are, are collecting hormones. You get three here, two here, and then um, in the ribosome, you can collect um, proteins. And the proteins are resources that allow you to do a few things, which I'll talk about in a second. Some of the more complicated spots, the chloroplast here, this is pretty um, uh, um, obvious. You're going to spend six water and six CO2 and get a carbohydrate. Now, you have a really interesting decision you have to make when you have carbohydrates. With these, you can place them on the cell wall and try and grab some points um, right up front or you can use them for cellular respiration and get ATP for them. With the ATP, that's gonna allow you to do a number of things. ATP is used to purchase some of the cards, so building um, enzymes as an example, you'll need ATP, um, or moving up in this plant track over here, which is how you um, uh, build, one way that you build your engine. At the beginning of each round, which we call here uh, morning, daytime, and evening, you will collect income based upon where you're at. So as an example, blue player here is gonna collect uh, six uh, carbon dioxide and can perform photosynthesis. These down here are the costs actually to get, to get up here. Um, as well, the blue player is gonna collect seven water and they can take two of that water and put them in the central vacuole if they would like. Um, so this is income you're gonna get each morning. Uh, so yeah, that's a few things that you can do um, in the game. Uh, some of the cards here include starches. Starches are just a way to dump a bunch more of your carbohydrates um, in to score a bunch of points right, right off the bat. And then each morning, you'll notice you'll score an additional point here for, for um, having this card built. These protein storage vacuoles are kind of fun. You can uh, pay water and proteins and they'll give you points right away, but they also allow you to pull a flask off of any location in the board. Now, what's, why that is so interesting is because some of these spots like these, you'll notice, um, you can have multiple players in there. However, you cannot have two of the same color in there. So that would be um, an example, and that would be an example of a spot where you could not place that, that second flask in there. But if I had um, my, my um, flask here and I wanted to grab this spot, I could not right now. However, if I played a uh, protein storage vacuole, 
here or the one here, um, I can take my blue flask back after I do that and then place back there again on, a, on another turn and take that big juicy nine point spot with one carb, which is a really great uh, conversion. So yeah, that's uh, that's a that's a gist of how the game plays. Um, the components you'll notice here uh, the 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 individual carbon dioxide components are just cubes, but then we have these six piece components, which are these custom shaped. Now these are three D printed, but they'll be wood obviously in the in the in the final game. But we're pretty excited with the with the shapes of these and the hormones, which are like little um, hexagons uh, attached to a a pentagon. Um, and then your protein and your ATP. Now in the collector's edition, we are hoping to have metal coins for these ATP. So that'll be pretty fun. Uh, and then these carbohydrate pieces, which are like squished hexagons. Anyway, I think that's basically it um, for the game. Uh, again, April 13th, it should be launching on Kickstarter sometime that morning. If you have any questions about the gameplay or anything else, uh, please feel free to leave them in the comments. And we will be posting a more formal how to play video very soon, as well as hopefully a, um, a run through or a playthrough where we'll all sit down and just uh, play it. And you can see some turns. Thanks a lot.